feel like kind of prickly. <sighs> what the, look at this. And yes, I put so much SPF 50 on and we were not swimming at like noon, like afternoon, it was the morning. And this is what happened. Mm -hmm. So beware, cause like Southeast Asia sun like hits different. Even at like 9.30 AM. I put this stuff on like one pack. Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. And I bought like six of these with me because I knew there's a risk. But like, I gotta keep these like moisturized, man. This is not good. I hope this doesn't get worse. Not gonna lie, today was a disaster. <laughs> it was kind of a bust. It was just like a bunch of little stupid things that kind of piled up and made it kind of a disappointing day. All I wanted to do was to swim in the ocean. It was kind of was lightning. It was lightning. When we first came, like it was tropical storm esque. This morning it was finally clear. But just when we start to walk out, we got whistled in because like the waves were apparently still too rough. So I went to the pool. Pool was fun. Yeah, it was fun. And then we get back and I'm like taking my swimsuit off. I'm like, oh, sunburn all in my chest. I'm fine, by the way. Yeah, he's yeah. totally fine. You described like the next, like this is when like shit really hit the fan. We decided to go to this restaurant. We went in 2019. We just enjoyed it oh, so much. So we wanted place. to go back there. So we took a taxi and then we got there. It's closed. There was like nothing there. Abandoned ruins. Yeah. We're like, no. And thankfully, there was uh, another restaurant nearby that I oh, pinned yeah. in the map. We just went there, we we're looking at the menu and we asked specifically like, uh, oh, like, can we have this? The waiter said like, oh, sorry, it's all sold out. Three things we chose, it yeah. was all sold <laughs> out. So we were like, like, well, I guess we just gotta leave. But we found another place, but unfortunately the food wasn't really good. No, sorry, but it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. <sighs> <laughs> I know. Hopefully tomorrow's uh, works out a little more for us. Yeah. My dad. That's his dad. Wave. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna go on a little adventure today and see Marble Mountain. There's like a cave and temples in it. It looks really cool, and the caves are supposed to be cool inside, so. <laughs> It's perfect for Sarah because Sarah loves temples. Look at the little deer. Oh. 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 So many stairs. Maybe it'll be cooler in here. Yeah. reality it's so humid oh my god but it is very majestic up here oh, majestic all right <laughs> we're going into the cave whoa there's like a little too. careful of the it's very slippery See? it's wet water dripping yeah There's a really heavy rain. That's why the floor is like uh, wet. Yeah, I like, guess. Luckily we wore our vests today, man, because like it's it would have been slippery. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had no idea that this cave would be like this vast, like mm -hmm. this high. 
Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever been in a cave like this in my whole life. The only thing like kind of similar to a smaller cave was Jejudo, but it's much like lower, like the lava tubes. But this is like something else. Wow. God, wear some good footwear. It's so slippery. I saw people slipping around in like little flip flops and stuff. Yeah, and bring one of these. No, I didn't get wet. That's all my sweat. Oh my God. This is the dry part and everything above that is just pure sweat. That's how hot and humid it was. I know it's gross, but it wasn't just me. Yeah. Everybody over there was just Everyone. soaking wet. Oh my God. I need a take rinse. a shower. We got back from Marble Mountain. It was a challenge, I'm not gonna lie, but thankfully the sponsor of this video saved our butts. Bessie Shoes, thank you so much Bessie. Canadian brand, they're 100% waterproof, which came in super handy because earlier in our Vietnam stay, it was raining a lot, thunder, lightning. Mm -hmm. That cave was drippy. Those stairs were really slippery, not for us, but we saw some people sliding around. And this is honestly the only part of me on that journey today that was not sweating on my feet. That's because they're made out of Dimitex. It's a dual climate material. And our feet were just light and dry and cool, but we've also worn these in the winter time where there's a ton of snow. Mm -hmm. They keep your feet really warm and toasty, yeah. again, because the Dimitex. Over the last three years, we've had so many adventures with these shoes and they're absolutely fantastic. So mm -hmm. no matter where you live or what kind of activities you like to do, they have a lot of different styles of shoes that would be perfect for you. Mm -hmm. If you want to give Vessies a try, we do have a link and code in the description box and you guys can get 15% off your Vessie order. They were, again, a lifesaver for us today. I was yeah. not prepared for how difficult that was going to be. We do want to pick up some kind of like snacks. One of the places that we really liked last time, funny enough, was this big Lotte Mart. And Lotte is like a Korean brand, but they have so many types of like famous Vietnamese like snacks and coffee and like even like fruit. And they also have like some Korean stuff too and like Japanese stuff. So it's like an all in one huge market. Yeah, we're gonna go with Kim's dad because his mom is just like chilling after that whole ordeal. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna get a taxi because it's hot. Do you want to get that peanut sauce that you like? Yes. I bet we could find one. I've never seen this in my life. Black grass jelly. What is this? What? Look at all these. That's familiar. Yeah. What's that? Walnut soy milk, I guess? Walnut soy milk. Oh. Interesting. Orange flavored uh, cookie, I guess. Yeah, we got like a mix of like uh, Japanese and Vietnamese snacks. Yeah. So they're kind of like hard to find in Korea. Oh, these are so good. Mm.
today it said it feels like 37 degrees. Thankfully now it feels like 35. <laughs> Something that like is so interesting to us when we were kind of we go around the taxi lot because like we can't really walk from place to place in the middle of the afternoon because it's just so hot and there's so many people here and they travel by like those motorbikes right obviously like 80 percent of the people are wearing long sleeve sometimes like hoodies or something and we're like roasting the sun is so hot so they're obviously doing that to like protect their skin from getting burnt but then on the other hand Wearing like a long sleeve like hoodie, wouldn't it like trap the heat and make you feel hot? So it's like, you're either feeling really hot by wearing longer sleeves to stop yourself from burning via the sun. But then if you wear like short sleeves to stay cool, then you're gonna get burnt by the sun. Gonna treat myself tonight. Oh yes. This is one of the few brands of masks that actually fit my face really well. Mm. Good. Hello. We have a little lightning bug. Could it be we can swim today? Oh my god, please, yes. Finally. It's supposedly the swimming area, right? Yes. I've been waiting for this since Sunday. <laughs> Now we're starving after swimming in the ocean for like over an hour. It's breakfast time, man. It's a wonderful way to start the day. Oh, I know. Just look at this. Yeah, so finally we got in a great ocean swim. We were actually getting worried that we wouldn't be able to swim in the ocean the entire time. Mm. because like that tropical depression mm -hmm. kind of messed up the waves. It was too dangerous to yeah. swim. We went for like about an hour and a half. It was just us, and it was just no words. It was marvelous. Mm. Well, it's growing. Mm. It's coming. Oh, already? Yeah. All right, now on our little date, cafe date. Cafe date, Vietnamese cafe. Yes. Oh, I'm already hot though. I know.
looking up cafes and we found this one that has really cool interior and a very extensive menu. So. is so strong for us because we're weak man with caffeine um, we're gonna walk a little bit on the street and get to the main street and get a taxi later actually it's not so hot now it's not that hot yeah unless the caffeine is just dulling my other senses <laughs> could be yeah i'm feeling up a, a, a little bit dizzy it's i feel like, like kind of drunk man yeah that... it's, uh, we're not used to a high caffeine we are not but it was so good There's no traffic lights here, so we just have to, Back to this one? cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. After this one. I'm going. Yeah, go. I'm going. Go. Go. <laughs> I still kind of feel funny. It's definitely because of uh, too much caffeine. Man, I'm not used to. <laughs> Very shallow. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> yeah, it's gonna it. <laughs> it's gonna stick to your body. Yeah, I don't like it. I know. To eat. Mm, yum. Oh. After this, we're going to get some massages. So. I can't eat too much because I'm going to be like full. Mm. Almost full moon. Oh, right. Because, yeah, Chuseok is tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't sleep. Well, last night, probably because of the coffee, because I dreamt about coffee, holding four takeout coffees. <laughs> I was, I was spilling everywhere. I, I don't know. It wasn't a good sleep. I didn't sleep well either. Yeah, we get to go back to Korea today. Finally, we're gonna see Bimo. And uh, today is officially Korean Chuseok holiday. Right, today's Chuseok. Yeah. Right. I miss Bimo. But yeah. I'm gonna miss this so much. I know. Not gonna lie. Are you gonna put your feet in? Yeah, of course. I have to feel that warm water like one more time, man. Yeah, I never get sick of that. I grew up by the ocean and I never really realized like if you move away to another place where you're not within like a 15 to 20 minute drive of the ocean, it does feel 
kind of weird. I think if Nova Scotia was warm like this, then I, don't, oh. I think you would have just stayed in Nova Scotia. I might have. That, that was a huge deciding factor for me was like the weather. But if it's like this... Yeah, you'll uh, be swimming all the time. Yeah, I like beach life. Tropical beach life. Yes. So who knows, maybe that'll be our retirement someday. Like somewhere kind of like this. Yeah, why not? Yeah, exactly. I wish. The last beach walk. We're gonna head to the airport at like 11.30ish. Yeah. Because our flight is at like 2.20. Thankfully, the sky is pretty clear. Yeah, last time, oh my God, that turbulence. I really hope it's not gonna be like that again. Cause I know. That was so scary. I am hot. All right, shall we go back? Yeah, please. <laughs> saying that we're going to move here to retire and we're already hot. <laughs> I'm a little sad, but, you know, got to get back to BMO. I'm going to miss this walk to breakfast every morning. saw that you were a good boy. Hi. And give me a come on up. Oh, come on up. Oh. He's purring. Oh. <laughs> Look what our friend left for us. Emo, it's your portrait. It's so adorable. He's purring. Look at here. Usually he sleeps on the floor by the foot of our bed in the summer, but, well, not tonight. I'm so <sighs> tired. 